One other depreciation method is declining balance. Sometimes you'll hear this referred to as double declining balance. The reason we talk about it as double declining is because it uses twice the straight line rate when we calculate depreciation with this method. So remember, the straight line rate is where we take 100% and divide it by the useful life. So the example that we used when we talked about straight line and units of production or units of activity, we had a life of 10 years. So we took 100% divided by 10 years, and that gave me 10%. That was the straight line rate. What we do with the declining balance is we take twice the straight line rate. So we take that 10%, multiply it by 2. So 20% would be our rate that we're going to use to calculate for depreciation. With the declining balance, we're going to take that rate and multiply it by the current book value each time. So again, cost minus accumulated depreciation. So for the first year, all right, our cost was $80,000. We don't have any accumulated depreciation yet because we haven't depreciated anything. So we'd take the 80000 and multiply that by 20%. That's going to give me $16,000. So that's going to be our depreciation expense for the year. That'll be the amount of our adjusting entry. And at the end of the first year, that'll also be the amount that accumulated depreciation will equal. So that's, that's year one for a full year. Again, if you needed a partial year, you're going to have to prorate this out. So if it was half a year, you divide it in half or multiply it by six twelfths. If it was eight months, multiply by eight twelfths, something like that. Okay, but this is a full year's amount. For the second year, we need to get a new book value, okay? Because now we have, we still have a cost of $80,000, so, but now we have accumulated depreciation of 16000 So my book value for the second year is $64,000. So we're going to take that $64,000, multiply it by our 20%, and that's going to give us this year's depreciation expense of 12800 so now, my accumulated depreciation, all right, it previously was this. Remember our adjusting entry, we're going to increase it by the 12.8. So now accumulated depreciation would equal 28,800. And you'd have a new book value as well. The new book value would now equal 51,200 because you've got 80,000 minus 28,800. And you continue to do that each year. Now, the thing that you have to be careful with with the double declining balance or declining balance is nowhere here have I taken into account any residual value or salvage value. So when you continue to depreciate, if you get to that last year and your depreciation calculation takes you below the residual value, you can't do that. So for instance, um, if you were on your last year and let's say that um, you had done your calculation and let's say you know you came up with $2,000. This is not our example. I'm just giving you, you know, a for instance. So under any other circumstance, you would take that $2,000 and put it in your adjusting entry. Depreciation expense would be $2,000, and your um, accumulated depreciation would be $2,000. But let's say that you have a residual value of $1,500. So your residual or your salvage value equals. 1500. If you take all 2000, you're going to fully depreciate your asset. So the the book value would be zero. It would be fully depreciated. All the costs would would now be had been, been expensed over that those years and would be also in accumulated depreciation. If you have a salvage or residual of 1500, you can't go below 1500. The 1500 dollars needs to stay in the cost side. Um, it it doesn't need to be in accumulated depreciation. Not that you've taken it out of cost, but we don't need to fully depreciate that much. So I can only depreciate 500 on that last year. That will leave me that salvage of 1500 in my book value that I need. Okay, So you have to be careful with the last year on declining balance so that you're looking out, especially again, for that last year's calculation.